31st I am demonstrating here inside the Weaver's store here in Milheim, uh, Pennsylvania and uh, the temperature is well below freezing outside here as I'm talking to you it's like 15 degrees or something so I'm going inside <laughs> oh, make this a quick video I just wanted to show you though um, what we got going on here this is our local hardware store and um, Hey, I've got, as you can see, I've got my table set up here. And um, just a couple of tables with some of my work. Basically just smaller functional items. Um, and then I've got my, my little Shimpo Aspire wheel, which is ideal, of course, for this kind of uh, thing. And uh, yeah, they sell everything in here. Hardware, coats, hats, tools, you name it. Bows and arrows. Just putting my camera on, on the stand there. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. You like that bit of clay, do you? Okay. Good. Well done. So I've just got to talk to the camera now for a little bit. Okay. Do you have a question? No? All right. So, yeah, as you can see, um, oh, yeah, I've just been uh, intermittently kind of making, well, I've been making some more tankards, and uh, just talking to people as they come in, and um, talking to them about pottery and handmade items uh, that it's good to have handmade <coughs> handmade pottery in our lives and not only handmade pottery but just handmade things because we live in a world of uh, where everything is not made by hand everything is made by a machine so we need to have we need to have things that are handmade because we need them, we need them. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize they need them, but they do, they do need handmade things. So it's a privilege to be able to be here in the store and just meet, meet with uh, just ordinary people and talk to them about these, these sorts of things. So, um, yeah. Anyway, this is a good little wheel for doing this. Uh, I recommend it. Um, the Shimpo Aspire. It's uh, it's lightweight. It's portable. And the other thing is, of course, as I've told you before, you can run it out the back of your car through an inverter, uh, converting the 12 volts to 110 volts very easily, if that's what you want to do. So, so there it is, folks. Uh, as I said, it's going to be a quick clip. So thanks for joining us. And uh, you do visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, we are about to put up a workshop schedule there. Belated workshop schedule. <laughs> but... Uh, so go there in the next few days and have a look. You should see some workshops there. Those will be workshops I'm giving out of my home studio here in Milheim. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. And uh, as ever, keep practicing and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.